Welcome to Two Fools Network. I'm Dave the Head, and this is Darkest Dungeon. Let's go ahead and jump into it. We already have our mission chosen and our team. We are going to go with our healer, the Vestal, and the Antiquarian again for money gains. We're going to use the Hellion, and this time the Hellion's going to be backed up with our Crusader. A Crusader's a pretty strong melee based character. Decent protection, I think. Not too much in the way of of surprises. Most of his attacks are hit. Uh, he does have a stun. I guess there These is some support healing, but it's very minor. Nightmares. We were going back to they the code. We need to complete 100% of the room battles once again. This time, our Hellion does not mess with the dead if fish. Only treasure could so let's gather up supplies and keep rolling. Otherworldly corruption. Um, we've trink we've already trinketed. And this hallway is apparently very busy. But we're ready to enter our first room. We have a light our torch up and get disappointed. Not a problem. Get a little scouting though. So we went up north just to go ahead and catch that one room and get out of here. I'm gonna backtrack. Do the rest of the dungeon. The Crusader is best against Unholy, as his main attack does extra damage versus Unholy. But a handsome reward. I'm sure that there For was probably well a lack performed. of individuals and a bit of stress. I'll go ahead and find out some more stuff than this guy. Glittering gold. Kind of surprised there was not much baubles. food to be found in them. Usually they, they give you blood. food. Go ahead and heal up from these traps we found. The light. The and promise our of safety. Ren for the old gods. A classic for the ages. And a double miss. Well, miss and a double, but the end result's the same. Stress for our healer. So is that a stun? That... I'm wrong. That is not a stun. That one is the direct attack that heals the healer. Fuck everyone. I think this healer might be different than our last episodes. I think I have two of them. Again, I, I record the video game and then come back and record the narration due to the equipment we have available to us. So, and I, I was sick last week. In the first episodes, you can kind of hear my voice sound a little clogged. It's because I'm having issues with sinuses and stuff. So it's been about a week or two since I've played these. Probably been about two, three weeks since I've played them. Alright, that's a debuff, not a stun. Yeah. Figuring out the best choice, we'll just go ahead and do a direct attack instead of miss with the double. Okay, so this hell is different than the last one. She has. Or, maybe it's not different. Maybe I just went and upgraded the maneuvers I wanted her to have. Talk about those in a moment when I try to back up. So this healer has only the direct heal and the attacks. They're not my favorite. I probably picked her up out of the uh, the caravan just to have it. Alright, so breakthrough. Broken. Barbarian Maintain Yard. The, offensive. the wicked slash and if it bleeds. And that that's the setup I like with the hell you I know that there is a uh, an attack, the Iron Swan, that allows her to attack the direct back person, but she has to be in the direct first slot to do it. And if she's not in the first slot, or there's no one back there in this battle, then it's useless in my opinion. Destroy them all. Okay, feasting on hearts. Calm down, lady. So we will have a camping in this uh, this episode, probably. We do have the firewood for it, anyways. Got another battle coming up, a couple of curios. Let's go ahead and get to it. As the light gains, nothing purchase. but 
damaging fish spearmen. And purpose is made clear. These guys can be a bit brutal. And apparently fast. So I'll go ahead and try to get a little dodge buff here. Start our healing game. Now she has a healing trinket and then a trinket that lowers the stress because the healing trinket raises stress. So it was an attempt to balance that out. Let's go ahead and try to bleed this guy. Now I've spread out the damage a bit. Because realistically, I, what difference does it make if you kill one guy on the first turn or two guys on the second turn? If you're killing one each turn, I understand that there, there might be some kind of mathematical gains. <laughs> Heal yourself for two and relieve some stress. She loves the vapors. Alright. So for HP, we're a little behind. But we go ahead and drop this guy. Real weakened the next two. And then the, fiend falls, the scroll fiend of destruction, or whatever the hell that maneuver is. We'll go ahead and drop the first two of them. Now, all of a sudden, we're four against one. Heels are being a little lackluster, but such is life. I don't know if you heard my door. Okay, we're back. I had a doorbell. I had to answer the door. So I'm a little disconjointed from what I was saying previously. I hope I can be able to catch up and it won't be too jarring. Go ahead and finish off this fight and move on with the rest of it. Man, we are making money. Alright, so I'm going to need up some of this food. Make space for the uh, heirloom. Heirloom's m kind of more important. The match Let's is light smoke. up the torches, a blazing star get full is born. on, and get our treasure. So it's a little, a little risky to do what I just did, but I'm hoping that the rewards work out. Wealth for us. beyond measure, and more heirlooms we can carry. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I think. Yeah, we'll get rid of the bandage. Alright, our first trap we've found. It'd be nice if the antiquarian could Ah, never mind, I'll just walk on it. Ambushed by foul invention. Yeah, there's gotta be a better way to disarm these traps. But either way, we'll face off our new battle. Their magician, their melee class, their tank snail, and then the exploding bloated zombie thing. Do some direct damage and heal the vessel. Vestal, Vestal. Um, go ahead and buff everybody with our dodge, which may or may not have contributed to that miss. Oh, that was that was a bit. Fun. This fight, I mean, this adventure in the uh, in the cove is. Yo yo, back and forth, back and forth. Got the advantage, disadvantage. Got the advantage, disadvantage. Good time. And a crit heal. See, that's how you're supposed to heal there, cleric. So. Go ahead and heal yourself. I'm not doing too much else. Anyway. Trying to get rid of this snail since the snail has such a, a powerful buff on it. It is bleeding. Alright. So let's see if we can add anything else. There is that explosion. A hand break from our becoming unwound. Our antiquarian is on death's door and bleeding takes the snail out. Stress on our Hellion. This expedition. No, I think it's a little early for that. Go ahead and try to save the Santa Query. Get her off Death's door. And 
a double miss on the brakes. Crit heal. Not bad. Did one third what the healer did. Get a buff on that. Oh. He can get pretty brutal. And now our Hellion is on death's door. Rubies are worth more, so we're gonna keep them. I'll go ahead and camp before we open the Huddled chest. together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. Maximize our food for healing and stress relief. We have two characters on death's door. Found a trinket. Be honest, which I can't really read what it says, but we'll go ahead and just slam it into a, a open slot to get it out of the inventory. Do some stress relief. bleeding and blight. Still a bit wounded, but we're coming out with a lot less stress and the way didn't is get lit. ambushed. The so path is clear. Victory is ours. We Fifth require only the strength to follow it. I don't think we brought that many. The treasure stacks more than the jewels, so I'm gonna keep the treasure. Well, there we go. Three rooms and we already had to camp, so. I'm a little wary about the future of this city. So our 
Hellion is back in fighting shape. Go ahead and get rid of the corpse at least and put some damage on the other. They should be in critical range or fatal range. As victory is a new trinket, so too put it will on. resistance. Okay, if the game will work with. There we go. Put it on there. Take what we can take, and hmm. Go ahead and finish eating up. We'll take the onyxes because they're worth more. Though now, knowing what I know now after watching this, I should have took... Oh, I threw away the shovels. And... You cannot learn okay, the so I'm escaping the dungeon. You think you know. <laughs> like I said, I record these and then come back and record the narration. So I'm watching this as I record this for the first time in a couple weeks. Must have decided that discretion is the better part of valor. Take the money and run. The units do receive some stress for retreating, I think, but even if they do, it's still worth getting out of there. We made pretty good money, and the future of that expedition did not look well. So if you can give us a like or a subscribe, we'd be grateful, me. and uh, we'll see you on the next and adventure. The letter was on its way.